boxing bo boxingvoice.com here with uh, Tom Lawford. Tom, you're bringing a uh, Mexican style back to where it started, which is basically Los Angeles, California. Not coming to the StubHub, you're going to the Great Western Forum. Is it because of the demand of tickets that were at the StubHub that led to this? Uh, we, uh, Gennady outgrew the StubHub in in uh, in one fight. I mean, it's a great venue. It was a lot of fireworks there against Rubio. You know, it was a sold out arena. It was uh, open skies and everything, but it was. Uh, you know, the form with its tradition and uh, the bigger capacity, it, it, it was a natural progression. And, and we're excited about the uh, atmosphere at the, the newly renovated building. And it'll be a lot, of, uh, a lot of fireworks May 16th. Now, a lot of people are looking at William Monroe Jr. as somewhat of a step down from Martin Murray. You know, no one, a lot of people don't know William Monroe Jr. unless you saw the Boxino tournament. What does he bring that people may not know? It brings a completely different style. That's what Gennady was looking for. You know, Martin Murray is a great boxer. Southpaw, great movement in the ring, and uh, it'll provide uh, a tricky style for him. And it's something that Abel has to prepare for with Gennady. And it's always a little bit of a different test. You know, Rubio was kind of uh, in front of Gennady, and, and he wanted to exchange with him. And, and, and uh, Monroe, is, uh, he comes from a great family. You know, his great uncle is uh, Willie, Willie the Worm Monroe, who beat Marvin Hagler. So it was a lot of pedigree there. And uh, we think it'll be, uh, it'll be an exciting fight. It'll be interesting to see how Gennady changes his strategy with a different style. What do you attest Gennady's popularity to? A lot of people just see knockouts, knockouts, and knockouts. What do you attest his popularity to and why his fan base is growing and why the ratings on HBO are just climbing to the top? Because he brings a lot of drama to the ring. That's his, his big drama show, and, and people like knockouts. They like excitement, and there was it's uh, the Mike Tyson effect of the middleweight division. They know whenever Gennady gets in the ring, uh, it's going to be a lot of excitement. He doesn't have con controversial decisions. He doesn't have you know bad scorecard here or there that people complain about, and and he likes to convincingly uh, beat beat the people he's in the ring with. And the only way, the best way to do that is 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 through knockouts. All right, now switching topics. How frustrating has it been to attempt to get the big names to fight Triple G? Cotto's not looking like he's fighting anytime soon. Like you said before, Chavez Jr., you guys couldn't get him in the ring. How frustrating is it getting to this now? You know, it, it's uh, that's the goal, is to get the biggest fights possible. Um, the formula has worked so far. It's been two and a half years since his HBO debut, and he's risen to the top of the sport of boxing. He's the, the, one of the most marketable fighters in the sport. He's one of the only guys that could headline Madison Square Garden and then come to California and sell out, sell out arenas here. So... Um, it's definitely working. Um, Cotto, it looks like, is going to fight in June, but he's not going to fight Gennady. Um, we just uh, he couldn't get a response. We couldn't get any commitment from, from his side. So we're just going to keep doing what we do on, on our side. Gennady wants to stay active. He's the most active uh, world champion in the sport today. He wants to fight four times a year again this year, and we think it'll be a breakout year in, uh, in 2015. Like you said, you're willing to do anything and everything to get the big names in the ring with Gennady. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, Peter Quillen beats Andy Lee on PBC, and the only way to get Peter Quillen is for Gennady Golovkin to fight on a PBC card on network television. Would you be willing to do that? Well, it really depends on, on how that transpires. I mean, if uh, if Quillen beats uh, Andy Lee and becomes a champion again, then, then he's definitely... Uh, Definitely in the sights. I have a good relationship with Al Heyman, and and I've always tried to to uh, work with you know any promoter to put the best fights on in, in the ring. You know whether it's Lemieux and and, and Dom, whether it's Quillen or Lee. Um, you know if there is a champion, just like Cotto. I mean there there's no animosity towards Cotto. We have a great great relationship. Uh, Miguel's trained with Gennady before. Um, he just he's got the WBC middleweight title, and so if if Quillen becomes a champion, or if Lee retains his title, or Lemieux or Ndam, we'll see. Uh, you know, the goal is to unify all the titles. So you would be willing to put Triple G on network television if need be. Well, it depends on the situation. You know, obviously we have an exclusive contract with with HBO, but you know, to get the biggest fights, you know, we would do what it takes to to put those fights together. And finally, what do the fans need? What should the fans expect on May 16th? A lot of fireworks. A lot of fireworks at the Forum. That's, you know, it, it's uh, it's going to be a lot of drama. And we got we just announced today that we have Chocolatito as the uh, as the co-feature against Edgar Sosa. That's a great fight. So you have two of the best fighters in the world today. Two, uh, you know, fighters on on all the pound for pound lists, and and that's a great combination. Thank you for your time, Tom.